involved, I saw a news story which alarmed me. I saw people injecting themselves. But these weren't drug addicts, they were people trying to manage the disease diabetes. I'm not so scared of needles anymore, but I am alarmed by the increasing number of people who suffer from metabolic disorders such as obesity and diabetes. Currently, 3 million people in the UK have diabetes. Worse, 6 out of 10 adults in England are overweight or obese, and this costs the NHS £5 billion a year. A rate of spending that would bankrupt Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook fame in about two years. What interests me is that people who suffer from obesity and diabetes are more at risk of developing other conditions, such as cancer, heart disease, and even gum disease. One proposed link between these conditions is an increase in inflammation. Inflammation is an inbuilt mechanism that protects us from infection and helps wounds heal. And it's a function so important to life that it's found in almost all animals. However, too much inflammation at the wrong time or place can be damaging. And the damaging outcome I'm interested in is the destruction of structural components in the body. So why are these structural components important? Well, imagine your house. What's the most important feature to you? The fridge, the bed, the TV? All very nice, but it's too easy to forget that without the particular arrangement and strength of structural components such as the bricks and mortar, the windows, the roof tiles, there would be no house at all. So I'm interested in the molecular bricks and mortar found throughout our body, such as the rope-like protein collagen, and what determines whether it's maintained or destroyed. So when scientists identified a hormone called leptin, which is increased in people who are obese or diabetic, and can promote inflammation, the people that I worked with wondered whether leptin could be a link between these conditions and what I mentioned earlier, gum disease. Now, I know gum disease is not exactly life-threatening, but it can be very unpleasant, and the bleeding and redness associated with mild gum inflammation are symptoms that most of us will suffer from at some point in our lives. So I've been trying to work out whether leptin promotes structural disturbances to the gums. What I found out is that leptin causes gum cells to increase the production of scissor-like enzymes that can chop up collagen. And interestingly, that when gum cells are exposed to leptin during inflammation, the production of these scissor-like enzymes is increased up to 20 times more than when exposed to leptin alone. Hopefully, Filling the gaps in our knowledge between metabolic disorders and their associated conditions on a molecular scale like this will provide better guidance on preventing and managing these conditions in the future and reduce the cost to society. But for now, maybe it's okay if your body is not a temple. What's important is that it's structurally sound. <laughs>
but um, you've got the information in there, you've got the, the, sort of the, the visual attraction, um, even sort of little things like the sort of, as I'm finding myself doing now, using your hands to, to, to draw us in to, to sort of say, uh, pay attention, I'm the one that's talking. Um, it, it also, you, you've got sort of the, the whole package coming together really well, so um, yeah, well done. Um, and thanks for making our decision really difficult. <laughs> Okay, so thank you very much. Have another round of applause for Rachel.